Hello and welcome to today's video. So we are going to do another DIY as you can see here with our fun Halloween decorated table. Um, but we are going to be making a couple of things. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Um, but here we are with the DIYs. We're gonna be using these metal frames the which one came from the dollar store and then the spiderweb one came from michael's i also have these lights from five below and then these ribbons that i had gotten from walmart and you're also going to need some black yarn um, and a hot glue gun as well as a paper to put underneath for the hot glue gun so we are gonna make two different kinds of earring holders i will be showing those at the end of what they look like but let's go ahead and get started and get into the video okay so the first thing that we're going to use is the spider web wreath if you guys remember in my past vlogs it took me forever to find this thing but this is the diy that i was referring to referring to <laughs> um, but we're going to measure out this um, ribbon just kind of decide how long you want it to be I held it up to the end or the base to see how far down I wanted it to hang down um, it is going to look a little bit like um, I want to say macrame but not to that in-depth extent we'll just be tying it to the frame we won't actually be doing any other knots or anything but it is kind of like a wall hanging um, tapestry type situation um, but we're just going to go ahead and double that length and measure out what or like how much ribbon you're going to need and then we are going to keep doing that until we run out of ribbon and so we'll just hold it up against the other one and cut here and then i am using fabric scissors now this thick black um, ribbon that I got, I thought it was more of a fabric ribbon, but it felt extremely papery. So I would just recommend um, the more fabric like texture rather than the paper texture because it doesn't flow very well when it's just hanging, hanging down your wall. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that for all of the ribbons. You're gonna wanna do that for the other two as well. And then the yarn so that they're all about the same length. okay so um once you have those all done um it looks like on the thin thread i was only able to get a couple of pieces and same thing with the what is this lace <laughs> um same thing with the lace ribbon um, but this ribbon we are going to be using for stud earrings so it's very important that you get something with a lot of holes in it that's why i chose to do the lace and this just gives you a place to hold different kinds of earrings so it's going to have the dangly ones and then the stud earrings which will go on to this lace and then you will be able to stick them through the holes of the lace that's already there uh, but what we're going to do is going to go ahead and attach it to the base. You have two options. You can string it through like this and tie a knot. Um, or my preferred method is fold it in half so that you create a loop. And then just make sure that the halves are even all the way to the end. And then you're going to take that top loop, loop and put it underneath the base. And then pull the thread through it. And then you're just going to tighten that as much as you can. And for me, I personally think this is easier. It lays flatter. If you want to tie the knots, you can. Um, but this, it just looks nicer. And it's it lays flat rather than sticking out. So, yeah. And then we will go ahead and do that with the rest of the ribbons here. Now, again, since I only had a couple of the lace pieces, I decided to put one on each side just to keep it more even. And then I will do the same thing on the other ones. I just try to keep it even as even as possible.
Okay, and once you have all of those ribbons in there, you have two options here. You can either leave it as is with just the ribbons. I felt like it was a little bit sparse, especially with how large the spider web um, circle is. So this is where I put in that black yarn and I just got a very thick yarn. So I didn't have to put in as many. And then I measured the same length and then I folded that in half to make sure that they were the same length when I tied it onto the frame as the ribbons. And then I cut out about 10 pieces of this so I could put five in each section. And um, that just helped fill in some of the space so that it looked a bit fuller, fuller, fuller. <laughs> it looked just, it just looked better overall and more complete. Okay, and once you have those all cut up, you just do the exact same thing, fold them in half to create a loop, stick it through, and then pull through the two strings on the other side. And I just, again, try to keep this as even as possible. You can add in a different color string if you like, or even use different colored ribbons. I just preferred the black because it matched um, my aesthetic a little bit better, especially with Halloween right now, and the black spiderweb wreath. Um, just so it's all the same color. So that is it. It's actually a really simple DIY. And once you've gotten that all put together, then it's complete and you can just go ahead and hang that up. And this is what it looks like all hung up. You can hang your dangling earrings up on the top as well as your hair clips. And then down at the bottom, you can clip on other kinds of hair clips onto the thick black ribbons. And then the lace ribbon is where you can put the stud earrings. Um, now I have two different kind of hair clips. So the moon fits up on top and then these other ones fit down here on the ribbon. So that gives you a good place to store those as well. And this is what I was explaining earlier with the lace with the holes already there. You can just stick your stud earrings through it and then they can hang there on nicely di displayed and you don't have to worry about the ends becoming dull. So yeah, that's it for the first one. And I think it turned out pretty well. It looks really nice. It's kind of a Halloween thing that you can cape up all year. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on that second one here. So this is where we are going to use the witch hat wireframe. Again, I got this at the dollar store and then the lights, I got them at five below. So it was only $5. And I think the biggest reason that this works without damaging the lights is because the lights are actually inside of a plastic tube. So as you see here, I'm actually going to glue the lights down to the wireframe. And um, yeah, I think the fact that the lights are inside and I'm gluing the outside container that it works. Um, you guys can let me know if you try it out with a different kind of light. Um, or to see if it does anything to the electrical part of it. I'm not really sure if it would, um, but this is the idea that I had for this one. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and push down the, push down, oh my goodness, words escape me today. So we're gonna put down the hot glue and just gently lay the light tubing across the top. And we're only going to do this around the outer edge or the outer border. Now it is completely up to you on how you would like to decorate the witch's hat. This is just a way that I thought would be a lot of fun. And it doesn't even have to be an earring holder. It can just be something that you hang up on your wall as well. Just for a kind of a neon light situation is what I was, what the inspiration was. So just go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, and then one thing that I found that really helped with it is stretching out the tube a little bit, as you can see that I'm doing here. This just helps it go a longer way. And then the size, I think is three feet. So that was enough to go all the way around the hat. Um, yeah, and then with the tubing, it actually bent really well around the corners and I didn't have too much of a problem with that. But as you can see, I'm just going around the ed outer edge if it's something that you want to use just for the light, then you can definitely use different kind of lights in the center. 
Now here I'm going to hot glue the battery pack onto the frame just so that you can hang it up without it getting in the way. Now originally I did a really silly thing and I glued it to the right hand side which was really dumb. I don't even know why I didn't think about basic physics with this one but it actually would pull the weight all the way over to that one side so I had to re-glue it in the center. So just make sure that's something that you consider when you are making yours and don't make the same mistake that I did. Okay, and then when you've got that glued on there, I just waited a few minutes to make sure that it was set in there. It didn't really have a problem with the weight uh, at all. So if you're worried about weight on it, it held the battery pack just fine. Um, but yeah, here is the end result. You can, this one is mainly just for the dangling earrings, but I think it looks really, really cool. If you wanna put something across the bottom to cover the battery pack, you're more than welcome to. Um, yeah, it's just personal preference. I think it looked really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down below if you enjoyed this video. And please consider subscribing, especially if you're new to the community and keep on spooking all you ghouls and spooking ears.